I am happy. Okay, so we gotta get pigs. <laughs> That's the first time I have won with just pigs. Hey. Empty. If there was a special master key in here, it's gone now. <sighs> Can't check that off yet. Been there, done that. Check. Check. Still need to do that. Bill. Bill. Huh? Oh. Now what? I opened up that pyramid like you told me, but there was nothing inside. There wasn't? Oh. Well, I'm afraid you're out of luck. There's no other way to get into Trapper Dan's Needle? You know, Grandma Tilly once told me that if you turn the top of the pyramid 45 degrees, then fill all the boxes on the outside with one kind of animal, then another kind of animal, until you do that for all four animals, she said if you do that, you'd find a journal in there written by Trapper Dan himself. Wow, what a coincidence. Do you think it's still there? I guess. I know I didn't take it out of there. I'd better get going. Okie dokie. Why do I not believe him? Uh, hold on, I have to turn the top. Okay, Wolf seems to be the first one. I really don't believe him. Oh, look at that. That worked out really well. Finally, pig. This looks easy. Yeah, all four corners. There you go. I did it. Well, Daniel Weisnitz, better known as Trapper Dan, I'll bet. That's still in there, but the 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 magnet thing isn't. A hi ho ho to you for discovering my hidden journal. No doubt you already found my magnetic my magnetic key that unlocks my needle and the rooms. Keep my secret safe, especially from the mountains and those. Rascally squirrels. Devious varmints. One thing for certain, without an intelligent creature that can crawl through small spaces such as my beloved Mary, you won't be able to use my vaults. I fixed the vault passages so you can see if your animal is dumb or smart <laughs> getting lost in the vaults. Make sure your pet can jump as there are pits in there and has paws or hooves to move the levers. Like a wolf. The first thing you need to do is crack my cipher below, or just follow the moose, wolf, raccoon, and Mary. Looks like the rest is in some kind of code. And if you are a knucklehead and lost my magnet key, don't run around yelling like some crazy wolverine. I've done it many times and came up with an ingenious way of getting back into my needle. As for the rooms, well, you just have to bust down the doors and make the key. The first thing you need to do is crack my cipher below or just follow the moose, wolf, raccoon, and Mary. Any combination will work. Can't find Mary? Well, try pulling on the ro that rope above the vaults. It'll open up a surprise at the end of the hallway on the second floor. You'll just have to keep it tight. Mary always helped me with that. And once she got through the maze, now you just need three more keys to open the keyholes. Do 
we keep that? Okay, we do keep it. Been there, check. Been there, done that. Still need to do that. I don't know how to decipher. Um, let's call Tino, I guess, and see if he has anything to help. Because I don't know now. <laughs> Stuck very easily. Hey, Nancy, what you need? I guess maybe I could use a hint. That's what I'm here for. A lot of Trapper Dan's journal is written in a code that consists of two lines of jumbled up letters. Any idea how to decipher it? Sounds to me like a railroad code. You read it top to bottom and left to right. In other words, go from the first letter in the top line to the first letter in the bottom line oh. to the second letter in the top line to the second letter in the bottom line. He's actually so helpful. On. Keep going like that and see what gets spelled out. You've been a big help. It was nothing. Ciao for now. Nope, that didn't work. Fit. Fit. I. First. Is. So, first. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue. Where am I going? tells me this radio belongs to Yanni and if so why is he hiding it figure out how to read it okay do I just go to all the stuffed heads nope you're missing something Yeah, I don't know. I'm having a hard time reading it, which is normal. Okay, so now there's a puzzle dealing with this. Which corresponds to this on each side of the hallway. So, so Queel Queel is red. And Cook is white. I bet this is said in the journal. Nope, don't want to go in there. This one is blue. Sorry. Anyway, um, this one is red again. Ollie, or whatever this one is, is green, and Pish Pish is blue. This isn't an emergency. I better not open it.
I apparently did the puzzle right. Good to know. Okay, so basically now, um, oops, still need to do that. Apparently, I haven't deciphered it. Oh well, save. Um, so apparently now, I need to get washcloths from all the rooms. So, whoa. Hello, moose. Ye eye is glowing. That's just a tiny bit creepy. Your eyes are also glowing. Tiny bit creepy, but Yan Yanni. How can I help you? Is Why do you have a radio, radio hidden, hidden away in your room? How do you know about that? All I know is when I got done cleaning the moose head, that compartment was open. And when I looked in it, there was the radio. Now you answer my question. I use that radio um, to communicate with my coaches. Yeah, okay. It's a special radio. Thanks, it Nancy. scrambles the signal so that my competitors cannot listen in. How did you know there was a secret compartment in your room? The first night I was here, I searched for bugs. Something which, due to the cunning of my competitors, I have become very good at. I discovered that by pushing on the moose eye, a compartment opened up. What I don't know is, did you really open that compartment by mistake? Or were you up to something else? How do I know you are not working for them? If I was working for the competition, why would I have told you about finding your radio? Who else have you told about the radio? No one. No one. I believe you, Nancy. So if I find out you're lying, both of us will be very sorry. Do you have any proof that your competitors are out there spying on you? When one has enemies, it's um, yes. to assume that they are the always close by. They are here, Nancy. Make no mistake. That's all for now. We'll talk again, I'm sure. What you need? Nothing. I'll let apparently. you get back to work. See you later. So why don't we go play fox and geese while I wait for the, the chip? Huh? Oh. Now what? How about another game of fox and geese? Now you're talking. Have a seat. Ready? Actually, I changed my mind. I don't want to play right now. Okay. So what can I do for you? Well, sorry okay, to bother you. You so, want to talk? Uh, Nancy, I don't me. think we can do that yet. Because it didn't give me the option. So. So like this. Four. F O. I'm so confused. <laughs> first things first is the first part of it. First. First two rows go together. First. <laughs> First thing. Things. First. Locate. I I, I got it now. <laughs> first things first. Low. Kate. Something or another. Um, something. <laughs> yep, yep. I got it. First things first, but then I'm stuck here. Locate. I don't know what begins with Y. Yums. <laughs> Yums. <laughs> um. Now, Nancy may get fired for this. 
Thank you, dismiss. No need to go in there till it's time to cook. I, uh, yeah, anyway, so what I'm going to do to speed up time is I'm going to save again, and then I am going to set my alarm. For the next day. <sighs> yep. But I just skipped past quite a few things. So I'm going to hopefully. I'm hoping, because at some point in the game, I know that Nancy no longer has to worry about cooking or anything. Well, laundry is something she always has to worry about, but... I'm hoping we're at the point in the game where... Where cooking is obsolete now, and I don't have to worry about it. Did Nancy... Nancy did not grab it. Okay, well this is pointless. Then let me see what happens if I leave, if I get in trouble. Nope, I think... Ah, much better. I was really cold. I think this is the point in the game where Nancy does not have to worry about cooking anymore. Because I haven't gotten in trouble, so... I think I can avoid cooking now. And focus on the, the game. Wait. Those are ducks. Obviously, I've done something wrong, and I'm not ready yet. Okay. Um... Discs. Okay, I need to look at the journal I found by the crater, which is this one. Okay, search. Possible sauropod scapula. Take to lab for precise ID. Okay, I did that now. Oh, you gotta go, Chris? Okay. Thank you for stopping by, Chris. You can check the rest of this out on as a um, uh, a video on Twitch if you'd like. Thank you again for stopping by. It means a lot. Um, Um, okay. So, I'm gonna call Tino for help because I'm actually stuck. Because I know what I have to do. But. It's a bit iffy. Hey, Nancy. What you need? Think you could give me a hint? About what? Any suggestions when it comes to using the wolf's sense of smell to figure out who lost that notebook I found? Nancy, like I said before, you're the maid. <laughs> Think about you're it. The you're the maid. You're in position to get an item they've touched from each of the guests, like a washcloth, maybe? But what about Ollie? He's not a guest. Just keep your eyes open. He's bound to leave something lying around that you can use. Although when it comes to him being the perp... I still say you're barking up the wrong tree. Sounds good. All in a day's work. See ya. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sleep again so we can do laundry again.
Isn't this nice not having to do um, breakfast or lunch or dinner? Hey, all of them. Sweet, so now we can grab them. Okay, sweet. 